Miss Demons and Baby Girl. Oh, shit. I mean. Baby Girl looks good, but still, this messed up. I've been saving that line for a special occasion. What do you think? Oh, okay, it's a squad think of chicks. It's more effective if it's actually a surprise. I'm rooting for you. Presence can be helpful, though. How did you know the location of our secret meeting place? I what? Mm. This is now. Oh my God! You got wait that holy sword. No, it can't be. Kill all of them. It was over. The hero appeared out of nowhere and defeated oh. the demon lord's minions with her unbeatable holy sword. Isn't it incredible? Unbeatable holy a sword. The hero's a girl. She must be quite a warrior. <gasps> it's time to slay some goblins. Dude. The location is Watertown. The reward is one Love it. Gold I love how straightforward he is. Like, dude, we've been dilly dallying too much. This is something I've already suspected for a time while. Time to kill some goblins. Still, the fact that Beard Cutter is <laughs> even mentioning it to us means it's like that one better. friend Maybe. who only wants to go to that same diner oh, over and over again. Progress. She's like, I'm tired of killing right, goblins. I've decided. I'll go with you. Whoa. Mm. Well, you like don't that know how many goblins you might face. I suppose we could go. Ah. Once we're done slaying these goblins, you'll go on another adventure with us. What do you say? Okay, or I like that deal. deal? Goblins remember, every other day. There will be no water torture. <laughs> Got it? Or setting them on fire. <laughs> or poisoning them. No poison? Absolutely What is the point of the idea is to kill them? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> so they're here. Watertown. Such a lame name for a town. Is this is the Temple of Law? Just like I imagined. Is that Look, Temple of Law? It's amazing! The Sword Maiden. The Sword Maiden? The Arbiter of the Law all across the oh, western frontier. Oh, so I thought those kids in the, the beginning of the episode were like... God. Saying a fairy tale. She was one of the adventurers who defeated the demon lord ten years ago. <gasps> Ooh, She's so it's actual fact. The second highest tier. She was born of the people and became a legend in her Ooh, own right. Like the Goblin Slayer. It is the Sword Maiden. Oh. Hello. Who am I? Visitor. Oh, she blind. Goblins. <laughs> oh, where are the goblins? <laughs> My guy! It happened about a month ago. We sent one of the Acolyte girls from the temple out on an errand. Uh, no, 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 no. The girl's been missing for a month. discovered it in an alleyway the next morning. The report said it looked as though she was sliced apart while still alive. Ah. Oh, still alive. That means she gave so birth. Right there. But our crime rate rapidly increased. Mm. But after one such attack was interrupted by an adventure, a shocking discovery was made. The corpse of the small would-be assassin wasn't human. A goblin. Goblins a human are, goblin. And more than a few of them uh, things by the Why do they show the goblin's face? How do you think that many of them have gotten into They aren't bright creatures, but they're not total fools. There you go again. You're always <laughs> thinking like a goblin. Of course I am. Maybe he is a goblin. I thought I wouldn't be very good at fighting them. Mm. Your town may already be lost, but I'll kill some goblins. goblins yes. Here? It's the truth. Yeah. And that's exactly why you should be more sensitive. He didn't do anything wrong. Shall we head to the sewers then, Sir Goblin Slayer? And remember, no using water, fire, or poison. I Seriously, know. only his. Forgive me for asking. He's gonna kill him. Not order the city you gotta keep it entertaining. For you. With the military spread thin, goblin slaying is a job for us adventurers. Oh, okay. The difficulties that arise from money and politics in human society never cease to amaze me. I see. Me. Enough of this. I believe that your best option will be to access the sewers by going down the well Jesus behind Christ, the Jesus look how big the is sewers are. Accurate? Are you not frightened of what you might encounter down there? Well, we'll be facing an unknown number of Are they foreshadowing the something? Territory. I'm sure that together, we can handle it. Oh, our they're foreshadowing something. They gotta jump. How are they gonna climb back up? <gasps> Oh, dude is here. That's the last <laughs> of them. This will be a long fight. I don't want to have to resort to using the goblin made arrows halfway through. They're terribly crude. <laughs> are they? Yeah, they are. These walls are made of stone. They're unlikely to ambush us through them. I don't say things and then you jinx it. 
Oh, they stepped their game up. They got a lantern. What's the matter, Goblin Slayer? Did you see something? Be on your guard. We're about to have company. Here, you'll need this! All right, here we go. It was the big bat out of the sewers. What the hell? They're in a boat. No. Uh, a boat. Oh, look at that little bitch. What are you looking for? One piece. Dude, love it. Barrier. And all he has to do is just jump on the boat. Savage. All goblins must die. Just killed the leader. Loads of See, all you have to do is burn the use tunnel. Dig a hole. You know there's a whole town above us. Could overflow. But it's not water torture, fire, or poison. Do something else. <laughs> Once I do, use the miracle again. Solidify our defense. Dude is a genius, man. Love it. Just a moment, please. Oh. Great and fearsome dragon, behold your descendant in battle! Go get your sword back! Why knock him out? What, did they not know how to swim? With these numbers, we may be in trouble. Protection! Baby girl wasn't even paying attention? Yo! They really don't know how to swim. He may well have alerted other denizens of this place to our presence here. <laughs> oh! A goblin. It's a snake! Alligator! That's not a goblin. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Isn't that thing a relative of yours? Talk to it. Wow. It me to say That's this, racist. I have had no contact with any of my family since I left home. Violent creature is no relative of mine, sir. <laughs> I say we feed the dwarf to that monster and make our escape. It'll definitely get food. Wow. You just try it. But remember the rules. We'll They're so fucked idea. at the moment. Whoa, look at these guys, they're pimps! There's more boats! Oh, they're totally fucked! Ah! I was told not to use water, fire, or poison. My options were a bit limited. Dude, it's ingenuity. It's ingenuity. I wanted to kill goblins with some serious rules today. You think somebody showed them how to use the boats? Wait, intentionally? Who would do that? But what was that thing called again? The um swamp dragon, you mean? Yeah, that. The goblins didn't know about it. If they had, I don't think they would have dared to use boats. They're cowards by nature. Something fishy is exactly going on. What are you suggesting, Sir Goblin Slayer? Someone or something orchestrated this infestation. Oh, shit. Yet another solid episode for Goblin Slayer. Man, yeah. Pretty much in today's episode, we got to uh, be introduced to a new character named the Sword Maiden. We got to know a little bit about her, how about 10 years ago she fought the Demon Lord and you know, took him down. The way the story was being conveyed, at least her story, felt like a very fairy tale kind of story. So to me, I thought it was like, uh, maybe they're just over exaggerating her myth. But actually, her story is real. We actually got to meet her herself because of course she summoned the goblin slayer herself there has been violent murders in town and she figured hey why not get the best person out there that loves killing goblins it's in this freaking name so of course they do that they go into the sewer the goblin slayer and friends only this time around he was giving uh some sorts of handicap if you will at least by his own teammates they told him hey you can't poison the the goblins who can uh, torture them, uh, burn them alive, you know, whatnot. It, it sounds kind of comedic uh, when you when I say it out loud, but it almost feels exactly like a video game, you know, like, hey, 
go into this dungeon, but you can only use axes or something, you know? So I feel like that's what maybe they were conveying. If not, maybe I'm just looking way too deep into it. But anyway, of course, uh, Goblin Slayer and friends succeeded in at least defeating some of the goblins before they were attacked by some crazy-ass alligator swamp dragon thing. And then at the end, Goblin Slayer kind of deduces that, hey, usually goblins are not that smart for them to be using boats and whatnot being in the sewers. So he was deducing that maybe there's a conspiracy going on. That someone deliberately put the goblins in the sewers. But if they did, what are their intentions? We did get to see a bigger orc goblin person, right? So what is his intention of bringing all these goblins in the sewers, you know? So, dun dun dun, plot is thickening. So yeah. So I'm guessing this is going to be a two-parter. So in the next episode we get to find out more information about the Sore Maiden, Watertown, you know, the place that they are, and uh, these goblins in the sewers. So, yeah, I'm sold. I love this show. Yeah. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Goblin Slayer, especially today's episode? So make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And as always, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching and for a while for now. Bye-bye.